Hello, this is Nancy Hart. I'm going to talk about some pictures that I found that is relative to the story of Whispers, Sinners, and Saints. So that is the cover of the book. And here we have a beautiful picture of my mother. This is how I always remember her. She was always beautiful on the outside. Uh, later in life, she asked me if she could go to school, if she would have been able to go to school, what she should have majored in. And I said to her, she should be in, uh, she should have attended finishing school. She was beautiful on the outside, but on inside, her mouth was just, well, you'll have to read the book to know. Um, here is my mother when she was a baby, and they took a picture always with her and the doll. Uh, this picture was taken um, ooh, because she was told, the family said, you have to go take this picture of your daughter because you're going to have to remember her. You need a keepsake. Taking a picture, having a photographer have a picture of the family was a very big expense, especially for people that didn't have any money. So that week, they really didn't have anything to eat. Um, she has a bigger head, and that was why the doctors, as uh, far as she understood, that's why they told her she was going to um, need a picture to remember her, a keepsake. Uh, when she was 86, they discovered, uh, testing her for leukemia, they had um, discovered she had three chromosomes on the 18th pair, which is really Edwardian syndrome. And one of the effects of that is that bigger head. Uh, later on, between the doll and her, that's her going to elementary school. Later on, as a teenager, that was her with her bird, Pichu. And she would say <coughs> that she could go anywhere and Pichu would either sit on her shoulder, fly away and come back on her shoulder. And she used to feed Pichu from her mouth. Um, here is my mother with her first boyfriend um, in young school age days. Uh, this is my uh, grandmother after she came out of the concentration camp. This is the pool, that the community pool uh, that um, a lot of Hungarians went to and it was very crowded. Everybody was glad that it was a nice day and they all went to the pool. But that one there with the circle, that's my grandma, Big Mama Clara. Here, let's proceed on. Here is Mama Clara in front of her favorite building. It's Gothic style. Uh, it's the parliament in Hungary, and that's the Danube River. Above her is, um, it was always speculated, that must be Erna, Mama Clara's, uh, Big Mama Clara's uh, brother, who was uh, given that uniform and told to... Um, go report for duty, and then we never saw him again. Uh, the family never saw him again. Uh, below here is a picture of my grandma after the Holocaust. Um, she married Tibby. Tibby is this man over here. And what's interesting that my mother always used to point out is you see how cold it is outside? You'd know it was cold because Tibby's wearing a hat. He's wearing a scarf around his neck. He's wearing a heavy leather coat, and here he didn't care enough to get my grandmother a coat. She's in a lousy, flimsy sweater, as my mother would put it, and just a skirt with God knows even if she had stockings. So that, she said, by looking at that picture, tells you what a cold, heartless man he was. And as you could see from her face, she's not so smiley, is she? So then, um, oh, over here, the, we have a picture of Tibby when he was a young boy, and his mother really wanted a girl. So back then, it was very customary to dress your um, boy as a girl, 
for, I don't know, until they're like five years old, it was considered normal. I don't know. I'm not passing judgment. I'm just passing along the story. And now this is Uncle Arthur. He's the one that um, became a CIA agent and fought against communism and the Nazis, uh, moved to London and then later to New York City. And um, there's a picture in the back of a tank. Well, war tanks, pictures of war tanks. Uh, here's a better picture of that uh, picture of war tanks. My mother had this picture on her when she came out of the country, and she used to have that in her possession, and she would say that this picture was enough to get anybody shot um, because you weren't supposed to have proof that there were tanks rolling down the streets. Uh, here's a picture of my grandma, Big Mama Clara, and her sister after the war, paying their respect to Clara's friend, Mootsy. Mootsy was um, Tibor, her husband's uh, wife, but uh, in the concentration camp, Mootsy took the bullet for Clary, Big Mama Clara, and uh, Clara fainted. And as um, Mootsy caught her, she caught the bullet. So here is uh, Flora, and here is Grandma Clara, and that's Flora's son, Bumi. They're at the cemetery. And here I think this is very interesting. Uh, this here is uh, a book that Rose, that's the woman who you see over there, was uh, Unc Ma, uh, we would call him Uncle Arthur, which I showed you, that's Uncle Arthur right there. Uh, he uh, married her and they lived in Germany. And you had to have a book like this to prove that you were German and you were stopped in the streets and you had to prove that you were not a Jew. And this is a actual Nazi cross that is written about in the story uh, that um, my mother took off of a dead Nazi soldier. Uh, here is the my birth certificate with the big foot that my mother always said that she gave birth to a horse because it's so big. And then this is the man that was on my birth certificate. Uh, not this particular one, but he's written on another one. Uh, that was my father. And that's uh, Steve Nagy. The C, he had to have papers wherever you moved in Hungary. You had to have these papers, even all the way back in uh, 1980, 81. Uh, I would think it was 1979 when I was there. I actually remember, I think I was 18, that when I went with my mother, you had to have this kind of book. Otherwise, the paddy wagon was outside with the police coming in and asking for your papers. You had to prove why it is that you weren't at work if you were sitting down someplace. And if they didn't like your answer, you actually were taken away, sometimes disappeared to the gulag, which I also write about. And here is um, my mother and Steve and the newspaper article that shows that they were married. It's uh, been kept in keepsake. So I hope this gives you a little bit of insight and hard evidence that uh, the information that I give you in Whispers, Sinners, and Saints. Have a blessed day, and may the light above you, like the light shines around me in this picture, may it shine through you to brighten your path for a brighter day.